or story mode. The campaign, one might say. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah. That last guy I was practicing um, not only blocking appropriately, but... Alright, so now I can meditate if I want. So I guess I have that move already. That's the move I don't have. So I want to get hit by her kick if I can. Oh, she fainted there. <clears throat> so there are two kicks that I'm trying to get. That one. She does that one a lot less frequently. Ooh. Okay, that was a that was a guard break that she just threw at me. So if I see that coming, I need to dodge it. Or maybe it's not a guard break. I think maybe I just didn't have enough stamina to absorb it. And so it did damage to me through my guard. getting there. <clears throat> we all have almost all of these, both of these moves fully absorbed. Kind of an interesting mechanic that you gain moves by basically getting the crap beat out of you. I'm starting to see how she's going to kick as well, so I can start to anticipate or dodge if I need to. So she's when, when she's in that forward sideways stance, she always finishes her combo with a alternate heavy kick to the side, which is one of the things I'm trying to, trying to learn. Alright, so, okay, so I got one of the two kicks that I wanted. Now for the next one. She uses this other one less frequently, so it's harder to get, it looks like. She also changes stance to kind of mirror what my stance is, which is pretty interesting. Let's try back stance right here. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like she's gonna finish with that heavy kick if I stand in this position. Hmm. All right, so she likes to do it when I change stances maybe it looks like. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I change stances every combo she does, she'll just hit with that kick every time. Almost got it. Like two more kicks, maybe? There we go.
Alright, so we got both of her moves. That's pretty good. Uramawashi unlocked. The question is, how do we actually... I don't, I'm not sure if we can access our attack deck real, quite yet. So these are commands to, like, request... Uh, when we meet actual multiplayer people, this, we can request actions from them. Booyah. Okay, so we can meditate now, which I'm guessing recovers our health. Oh, and this is how we access our attack deck. Okay, cool. And we can upgrade our attributes as well from here. <clears throat> All right, so we just gain more endurance, which will allow us to block, to block or dodge or use heavy attacks longer. Looks like we can't access our attack deck yet. It's a tad annoying. But I guess as we level up, we'll be able to do more and more of that. So let's continue. Oh, we didn't actually heal. Interesting. The parry direction must match the incoming attack of direction. Attack direction. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we just while we're locked, we just drag the mouse to whichever direction we want to go, and it immediately parries for us. It's kind of cool. Parry, 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 parry. All right. I think we'll be able to unlock this door from right here. Yep. Okay, yeah, so this is the door that was at the bottom where just where that we couldn't get through because it was locked. I hear someone practicing up ahead. destroyed oh this is salon okay so we're gonna die here maybe not if we just started kicking him immediately we might not but there we go okay we died which is fine we kind of wanted to die because I wanted to test pairing on this guy um to see if it was actually oh, we can just respawn here okay cool. he'll revive us So it's like pairing is more difficult than I would have guessed, but it makes sense since it blocks and stuns the opponent. It has to be very precisely timed. There we go, we got one, okay. So that heavy kick is really easy to predict. Not bad. 
So we probably could have uh, milked that a bit longer to try and get his move, but I kind of just wanted to beat him, honestly. <laughs> oh, that one won't be... Refuses to be destroyed. So now if we want, we can go through this... door down at the bottom. Actually, even if we don't want to, it's the only way to progress, apparently, so that's what we're doing. You die? Yeah, I, di I died. Um, I died to that guy up there because I was trying to um, practice my parrying, which is like a, um, if you locked on and you drag from left or right, you can block whichever move is incoming if you time it precisely. <clears throat> and so as I was practicing, practicing it and missing several of them, he just did a bunch of damage to me and ended up dying. But it's fine, because the respawn in this game is kind of interesting. You just respawn right here, and then... Or at any meditation area. He had a really predictable heavy kick that we ended up pairing quite frequently on the second duo, though. Or duel, not duo. Hey, buddy. Oh, he has a cool mask. So we can change stance if we want by looking looking in the direction of the stance. Which is interesting. We can also do it by manually changing with Q, E, Z, or C. Hey, buddy. I am Talon. I will try to help you on your progress, but if you lose yourself to the fold, I won't be able to save you. Okay. Those who wear the mask are not all your enemies, you know. I will not attack you. Interesting. I thought they were all my enemies. When you are safe, you can enter meditation and practice your combat deck. That's cool. Okay, so now we can do that if we would like. I've been trying to practice our combat de deck for a while. So we have really shitty gear right now. Okay, so this is our combat deck. Oh, so this is just like a practice area. This is a parry. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes accidentally we parry while we're fighting because we move our mouse slightly. Because you're not supposed to move the mouse at all, really, when you're fighting. You don't rely on mouse for movement, just directionality. And while you're fighting, you're, in t you're focused on this guy, so you cannot move the camera at all. stamina okay so in fighting you can only switch to a different position if you're if you're next to that position but we do two soft attacks one two then we can ma mash C and switch immediately to This overhead kick. Or we can go to the right and use this heavy. Huh. So I think positionally, our position, our 
what our, our fourth stances also depend on our enemy and the way that they are positioned. Let's try and edit our combat deck. Hmm. Let's so we can add one in here, actually. These are our attack sequences that we can use. Wow, this is... Bit mind boggling, there's so many different moves. Hmm, okay. Let's, um, This is our only available extra attack right now. This one and this one. This stops charging attacks. So does the cross punch. Which is a top right normal attack sequence punch. I think this one does it. So what is the new move that we just put in? Just put this in bottom right or bottom left right. I don't know what these switches right here mean. Try this. So it automatically switches the deck, so unless I'm way back here, I can't even use that attack sequence. That's, sequence. That's kind of weird. Can we not force? Doesn't really make any sense. Maybe if we unlock when we're fighting him? <gasps> That's just weird. Really odd.
There we go, that worked. Oh. Oh, I see. So we had to time it perfectly. Hey, what's up, Max? How you doing, buddy? All right, it's not too bad. Let's keep going. Ah, so we can unlock war gloves and a sword as well. Cheers, buddy. Okay. Already practiced. Okay. Cool. How are you doing today? I'm glad you were able to catch our early stream. We're breaking out some Absolver. It came out this morning. When you learn new attacks from others, you'll be able to use them in your combat deck. Yeah, I gotcha. You may not need this right now, but it'll be useful when you face tougher enemies. Okay. Keep on your path until you reach the ruins of Roslan. There you will find others like you, determined to become absolvers. So right now we're just an initiator, whatever it's called. Walk without fear, we will meet again. Oh, and I forgot about this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty neat so far. It definitely seems like it would be easier on a uh, gamepad or controller, but we're we're mouse and keyboarding it up. I am good. I am good. We had a good stream last night of um, got about we only got about three hours in because we had to start late thanks to the meeting I was attending, and then uh, yeah, got got up early, grabbed my coffee as usual, and we're gonna grind this out for about. Probably another hour, hour and, a half, hour and a half, something like that. And then we'll have the normal Terror Tuesday stream tonight. All right, since there's a little dot next, does this, does this mean I have like a new move or something that I can use? Let's check. I feel like I never really used this one. What is this, bottom left? Oh, actually I do use that one a little bit. It's really uh, easy to parry or block though, unfortunately. 